Elementor WordPress tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can create a website with Elementor. Having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, first step, you need to create a WordPress website. And to do that, you're going to need a hosting, a hosting plan from various other platforms as well. So there is this platform, Cloudways Hosting or Cloudways.com, provides you free hosting for a limited amount of time for like a week and, uh, you know, gives you a free trial. And once that's done, you just simply have to buy the hosting plan. If you don't like that, you could come over to Bluehost. Bluehost also provides you a pretty awesome uh, hosting plan if you, you know, want to go ahead and create a website over here you can do that as well so these two provide you cool hostings and really really cool and you can install your wordpress website on them as well so as you can see wordpress website builder and you know you have wordpress hosting and all of that and same goes over here for cloudways as well now once you have that you can just move on so just simply click on get started for free all right on cloudways or on bluehost whatever you want to choose and then just simply move along and sign in and you know continue to ask these questions and once you've done that you will eventually have a wordpress website right here so over here this is the wordpress website that i'm using and it's pretty simple um first things first what we need to do is we need to go into the plugin section over here and we need to go ahead and install a few different plugins Plugins. So currently I have these plugins. All right. We have the Elementor plugin. We have the starter template plugin. All right. We're going to need these. But if you don't have them, just simply go over to add new plugins and over here, search for Elementor and you will see Elementor website builder. Then just simply click on install now and activate. You can also add essential add ons for Elementor now. So if you want, you can have more options with this as well. So keep that in mind. Next, what you can do is you need to download the starter templates. So simply search for starter over here and you will have starter templates option over here for Elementor, WordPress, Beaver and all of the others. Simply again, click on install and activate them. I've already done that. So we're going to go ahead and move back to a plugin section and activate the plugin that we had. So let me just click on activate and activate this plugin and boom, we are good to go. Now that you have this, what you're going to do next is you're going to go over to appearances and over here you will see your starter templates, right? Just simply click on starter templates and it's going to take you over to the template template section of the website where you will have a bunch of different templates to choose from so over here as you can see we have a bunch of different templates some are premium some are you know free but it all depends on you if you wanted to use a premium website you could just simply you know buy the premium plan for starter templates and move on so currently we're just simply going to stick with the free version and move on so over here all these different templates you know are available to you. you can choose whichever one you want so for example if you have a real estate business just simply scroll up over here and search for real estate over here as you can see restaurants constructions real estate so if you click on real estate you will have all these real estate options over here real estate website templates to choose from so anything you want you will find that over here so let's go ahead and choose this website right here so if i click on this website and this is how it's going to look like so you can go ahead and view the website if you like it if you don't like it you can go ahead and back but if you do like it just simply upload your uh, logo over here and you can change the length and width of your logo as well and then once you have everything set up just simply click on skip and continue for now i'm not going to upload my logo and then you have your overall the color of your website you can click on these colors to change the overall color and the fonts as you can see over here these are changing right here but uh, I think I'm going to keep the blue one because I like the blue one. Yeah. And then you can change the fonts as well. So as you can see, you have a bunch of different options to choose from. Um, I think I'm going to go with this one and click on continue and then just simply submit and build my website. Then it's going to install the required themes, the plugins and fonts and etc. to, you know, build your website. So I'm just simply going to go ahead and pause the video right here and I'll catch you guys in a second. And boom, as you can see, uh, the website has been created. It took only 49 seconds and now we are good to go. Then we just simply have to view your website simply click on the button to view the website and this is how the website looks like so as you can see everything looks fine everything looks good now if you click on these home buttons uh, it'll take you over to different parts of the website such as the about page over here you will have your service pages over here you will have your projects testimonials contacts and everything so let's go ahead and edit this website now since we had already downloaded elementor we're going to be using that to edit our website simply click on edit with elementor and it's going to take you over to the builder over here where we can edit the website so over here as you can see this is how it looks like uh, over here on the left side we have a bunch of different options to choose from 
And over here we, on the right side, we have the navigation and in the middle we have the website. So as you can see, whenever I hover my mouse over here, instantly gets highlighted all of the sections, you know, that I can edit. For example, if I wanted to, let's say, you know, change this up a little bit. What I would need to do is I will just simply click on the image and over here I can go ahead and click on style and advanced over here i have other options as well but if i wanted to change the image i would simply have to go into content click on choose image over here click on the image and then you will have a bunch of different images that are, you are available over here you just you can go ahead and upload your own image if you want over here you will have uploaded files over here this is going to be your media library and then you can have your free images as well so if you wanted to choose that but it all depends on you so so over here let me just say a search for in man or you know a uh, businessman a search for businessman we will have all these different options you can go ahead and choose any image you want so it all depends on you let me just click on this image right here oh where did it go click on this image right here and i'm simply going to click on insert image and then i can go ahead and insert this image pretty simple right there you go so that's how you basically do it so for example if you wanted to let's say you know um add a bunch of different elements as well so like maybe uh, you have a well maybe if you have like a image if you wanted to add over here maybe something else maybe like a video or maybe you know a carousel or something like that what you could do is you can go ahead and add that over here by coming over here on the left side and finding out what you need so over here you will have your carousel maybe if you wanted to showcase some of your projects to your clients you can go ahead and add that over here by just simply dragging and dropping it over here but we already have that over here as you can see if you want you can go ahead and edit this out as well simply click over here and you will have all four images over here you can go ahead and delete them and upload your own with the exact same way as i said before and everything is just simple and it's you know available to you you don't even have to do a lot of things for example let's just take the you know home for example so over here uh you know you can add more pages as well so over here maybe if you wanted to add let's say a video you can go ahead and drag the video down over here and put it over here and then you can add the link to that video as i said before what if you wanted to let's say you know change the background so over here just simply click over here as you can see you will have two options you have add you have edit you have delete so if you click on edit this section you will have your style over here you will have your image so what if i wanted to add another image all i would have to do is just simply search for that image or upload my own image if i wanted to and i will be good to go so let me just choose a color let's say uh blue if i just simply search for blue then i would have all these different images available to me you can go ahead and add so all these images if you want so it all depends on you maybe like this image maybe i could just simply click on this image right here and i just simply insert the media and boom here we go so as you can see now we have a different image since it looks weird so we're not going to do that you can also add a gradient background as well so if you want you could go ahead and do that you can put the color over here the main color could be let's say red and the secondary color could be let's say white over here like this one as you can see looks pretty cool looks really nice you could go ahead and do that as well and yeah and you can even have like a shape divider as well you can add like a shape divider at the bottom you can click on non you will have drops over here maybe like a zigzag ends on you pretty nice i would say so that's how you basically do it that's how you edit your website and also be sure to you know click on update whenever you make a change to the website so for example maybe if you're editing a website and suddenly the light goes out or your computer shuts off then your website will you know won't have any saved changes and you'll have to do all of that over again so make sure you click on update whenever you make a change and once you've done that just simply you know click on these three buttons and click on exit to dashboard and you are good to go so pretty much that's it that's how you do it that's how you edit a website with elementor and that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoy this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye